Hey guys, welcome to the 32nd C programming tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at pointers again. So let's just go ahead right here and create an integer variable called i and we'll set it equal to 5. Then we're going to create an integer pointer that just stores the address of i. Then let's just go ahead and print out onto the screen the address that is stored inside of pointer and then we're also going to print out pointer plus 1. So we're just going to say pointer and then pointer plus one. So all this code is doing right here is it's just adding to the address that is stored inside of this pointer variable right here. So let's just go ahead and run this and see what happens. So as you can see right here, the difference in between these two addresses is four and not one like you'd expect. Because what it's actually doing right here is it's adding one times the size of integer and since the size of an integer is 4, it just added 4 onto this address right here. So it's basically just adding one integer onto this address right here. So if we were to go ahead and change this to um, 2 right here, it'd be like adding 2 times the size of integer onto it. So there should be a difference of 8 now. Yep, perfect. All right. So now let's just go ahead right here and create an integer variable called myInt, and we'll set it equal to 7. Now let's just go ahead and draw out this code in paint. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to say that these four bytes of memory right here are reserved for i. So we're going to say 0, 0, 0, 5 since i is equal to 5. Then these next four bytes are for my int which is equal to 7. So 0, 0, 0, 7. And then following that we just have a pointer that stores the address of i. And we'll say that the address of i is 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so these next four bytes hold the address 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. And just to make this more obvious that these four bytes hold the address of i, I'm just going to go ahead and draw an arrow pointing to i right here. All right, so as you can see right here, these four bytes just store the address 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the address of i. If we were to add 1 to this address, let's go ahead and see what would happen. We add 1 to it and our new address would be 1, 2, 3, 8. Since we're adding on to it the size of an integer, we're adding on 1 integer. So we get 1, 2, 3, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 8 is the address of my int. Because if we go ahead right here, and advance one integer, we advance one integer right there, we're now at the address 1238, which is the address of my int. So if we were to go back in code blocks right here and say pointer plus one, this right here is now the address of my int. So what we could actually do is go ahead right here and print out onto the screen my int. So we could just do modulus i and to get to my int, what we're going to do is we're going to say pointer plus one and then we're just going to go ahead and dereference that. So we're just going to go to that address and get the integer there. So once again, what we're doing is we're just saying pointer plus one and pointer plus one is just advancing to the next integer in memory, which happens to be the address of my int. And then we're just going to go ahead and dereference that. So it's going to get the integer at this address right here. And then we should get 7 out onto the screen when we run our program since the value of my int is 7. So we run this, we get 7 out onto the screen. Perfect. And if I were to change the value of my int to something else, like mm, 3, we should now get 3 out onto the screen. Alright, perfect. And this right here, just adding on to pointers, is simply called pointer math. So if you ever hear that term, just remember that whenever you're adding on to a pointer, you're adding the size of that integer on, not just one or two or three or whatever. All right, so now let's just go ahead and look at more pointer math using a struct. So we're just gonna say type def struct, and then I'll say int i and car star called name or something. And then I'll just call this struct um, my struct. All right, so now let's just go ahead right here and create a mystruct variable. So we'll say mystruct ms, 
and then we're just going to go ahead and create a mystruct pointer that just stores the address of ms. So we'll just set it equal to the address of ms. All right, so now let's just go ahead right here and print out onto the screen the size of this struct called mystruct right here. So we're just going to say percent %i since we're printing out a size, and then we'll just do size of my struct. And if we run this, we should get 8 out onto the screen since the size of an integer is 4 and the size of a character pointer is 4 and 4 plus 4 is 8. So we should just get 8 out onto the screen. All right, perfect. And if we were to just print out onto the screen the value of pointer and then the value of pointer plus 1, there should be a difference of 8 between the two since the size of my struct is 8 or 8 bytes. So we're just going to do percent %u, new line, uh, percent %u, and then we're just going to go ahead and print out pointer and then pointer um, plus 1. All right, and like I said, we should get a difference of 8 between the two addresses. Yep, perfect. All right, and remember, that's just because the size of my struct is 8. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.